Greetings, this is Ty Brown with Athletic Director U. I'm here at the Collegiate Sports Summit and I'm joined by Mark Jackson. Mark is the Director of Athletics at Villanova University. Greetings, Mark. Thanks for joining us. My pleasure. Good to be here. Now, Mark, you're, you're coming up on the end of four years mm -hmm. in your position now. You've, you've worked at a number of places with a number of high-level leaders. Conversation you and I have had before is, is talking about leaders and knowing who they are to be a better leader, whether mm -hmm. that be in their personal lives, in their professional lives, whatever it is. And that's a conversation I don't think ever really stops, and that's why I want to sure. talk to you about yeah. it again. Yeah. I guess the key for me, what I'm curious about is, you know, what questions would you suggest people ask themselves when they're trying to discover who they are? I imagine it's probably depends on the individual, but I guess if you talk about it from your experience and your lens as an experienced leader, mm -hmm. what would you suggest for somebody young in the profession, mid-career, somebody who's going into a leadership role? What questions should they ask themselves? Uh, yeah, the first one is the question of how can I find some quiet time to unplug, get away, right. and even, even find the window where I can ask myself the important questions. Because yeah at the pace we're all going and our inability to, to disconnect from the world, it, it makes it really hard to do. And as you and I've talked before, you know, I was a victim of that despite having these great mentors in my life that kept telling me, Mark, you need to really zero in and figure yourself yeah. out. It wasn't until I was 35 years old right. where I even knew what questions to ask and then to find the quiet time to ask them. Mm -hmm. And at that point, my, my life had changed, right? I was married, I had children, so that's where the questions started for me right. at the time. It was about being a husband and a father, and then how do I get to be an athletic director? And if I get to be an athletic director, what do I want that to look like? Mm -hmm. How am I gonna, what's my leadership philosophy gonna be? What, what are gonna be the objectives of the department? All those kinds of questions, um, you know, and how does that combine with the husband and yeah. dad role? Well, now fast forward to having been an athletic director <laughs> right. for four years, the questions have changed. But the important thing is, as part of our self-discovery, mm -hmm. we never stop, we, or we shouldn't stop. Right. I have to force myself to find the quiet time to go back. And what I envisioned at 35, am I being the husband that I wanted to be? Mm -hmm. Am I being the dad that I wanted to be? Am I still connecting with the friendships that I want to stay connected right. with? All those important things, but then, it's not how do I get to become an athletic director, it's all right, now you've laid out a plan, you've laid up your objectives, am I meeting the standards that I set in front of my department? Right. You know, are we graduating complete student athletes? Are we striving to win championships? Are we being compliant? Are we driving revenue right. and, and being fiscally sound? Things I didn't even think to ask. Do, do I have a good relationship with my board of trustees? What's the relationship with my president like? Right. Those are questions I didn't even know to ask at 35. <laughs> yeah. I just wanted to be an AD, but now that you're in the role, that was a whole other set of questions that I have to stop, take the time, and, and find answers to. find answers to. I, the, the, the thought of evaluating mm -hmm. questions you may have asked four and five and six and ten years ago, right? Yep. I, I wonder how you, how, you specifically, because you're in the chair, I guess, right? <laughs> how do you know when to evaluate those questions? I guess I've made it as an AD, so now I have to go back and evaluate It's a them. really good question, right. and, and it's why it's so important to surround yourself with people that are, that, that are obviously competent at what they do, but mm -hmm. also with the willingness to shoot you straight. Right and to really give you the, the truth and to make sure that, that the word that I keep coming back to is authentic. Mm -hmm. You know, if I'm going to say we're about family, faith, friendships, and fun, that's the core of our culture at Villanova is what we strive for, are we meeting that? Right. Um, I want people around me that tell me, look, we're out of balance here. You know, there's, there's some people that, that aren't having as much fun around their job. Um, there are those that uh, you need to connect to more because, you know, I, I'm naive maybe in thinking that, hey, I got it, I got yeah, all the answers. Exactly. Um, but when you have people that will pull you aside and say, hey, look, let, let's, let, let's be real. And uh, you, need to, you need to find some more quiet time and really zero in on this end of the department and find a way to strategize about bringing it up to the standards that we, that we want to achieve. Does that, I mean, I, I don't know why I just laugh, but <laughs> the people close to you. I laugh you, all the time. It's all good. The people close to you are the like, Hey, Mark, quiet time might be a necessity right now. Yeah. Just take a couple minutes and we'll come back to this conversation. I imagine that the people close to you know you well enough. Yeah, probably, to say yeah. Like and it you know, starts with my wife who, who really lives this <laughs> with, yeah. with me. And I know it sounds cliche and I, I, you know, I, don't, I don't enjoy using this term, but I think the role that we're in as athletic director is not really a job. It's a lifestyle mm, because, yeah. because it is all consuming and it's, you know, my wife and kids are involved in all kinds of things. So they're now immersed in what we're trying mm -hmm. to do and she knows me better than anybody and can set me straight and um but there are people that um 
I've come to really trust at, at, at Villanova. I have a president that um, understands the role that I'm in, um, has a healthy respect for it, and, and more importantly, I have a healthy respect for his mission and, and his objective. And he'll let me know, you know, right. if we're stepping outside of, of, of uh, the scope of um, what he wants us to do with athletics, mm -hmm. he'll shoot me straight. And that, that relationship is obviously key Very for me um, as, I, as I report up. Right. And then, you know, um, in the president's cabinet, I think one, one word, I'm not sure if we, we talked about this the last time, but I think when people ask me to describe the, the community and the, the culture okay. of Villanova, the one word that it comes down to is collaborative. We, we do a lot of things together. We, you know, athletics isn't isol isolated on one side of campus right. in this one particular vertical. The way we operate, which is different than other places that I've been, it's it's very collaborative. So, um, and I enjoy it. I, I like getting the input. Sometimes it drives you crazy, mm -hmm. but I like getting the input from those that sit around the president's cabinet or the deans that I get to work with, and and I think they welcome my opinion as well. So, right. um, that fits with me and my, my leadership style. And uh, through those relationships, I think you get to the truth of people that will shoot you straight. Right. I, I wonder someone who is coming up in the profession, coming up in any profession, and even just growing in themselves when they take the quiet time to ask themselves questions. And you may be able to answer this from your experience. How much of the internal thought and introspection is forward thinking and how much mm -hmm. is analyzing who I am now? Right. Mm -hmm. Who what what? You, in terms of being a father, right? Mm -hmm. What kind of father am I now? Mm -hmm. Or what kind of father do I want to be? Like, mm -hmm. tell me about that aspect with the internal thought and introspection. Yeah, I, again, a, re a really good question. You would like to think we're always trying to be proactive and build upon this foundation right. that's really solid and strong, whether it's as a dad or as a husband or as the athletic director, but oftentimes it's, it's reactive and, and having to go back and fix something. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I don't know how that breakdown would, right. would fall out. Um, There's not like thirty percent distance. <laughs> no, thing, no, but. and I guess against the, uh, against all the different categories. Yeah, that's the thing um, about the but but I do have a. I think I have a clear vision mm -hmm. um, of, of any area aspect of my leadership, whether at home or at work, about what I want it to look like. I have a better sense as, as I grow older. I have a better sense of where those things are out of balance mm -hmm. and and out of check, um, and that's a continuous process. So every day I, I have a journal. Right. And I put the date oh, wow. <laughs> and I, you know, I, I try and put whatever I worked out in the morning. I like to work out in the morning. And then I, I put my four F's, which you know, we've talked about before, yeah. family, faith, friendship and fun. Yes, These are the things that I need to do in each one of those columns. These are, you know, and if I look at one of those columns and, you know, the fun piece has 15 things that I need to find, <laughs> you know, to do. Uh, and the family piece only has two. Well, I better put some more oh, things right. in the, the, the family piece because fun to me is going, you know, going to the volleyball match, yeah. going to the women's lacrosse match or, um, you know, getting together for a weekend golf thing with my buddies, mm -hmm. you know. And if I have a lot of those things on that list, then, well, it's a little bit out of whack. <laughs> yeah, right. So I try and find quiet time every morning mm -hmm. to, uh, to balance that out. Am I 100% am I, um, with it? No. And right. so does it get out of whack? Absolutely. Absolutely, yeah, but I, I try so. and commit it through, through, Pete Carroll taught me, you know, affirmation through the written word. I, I really believe that if you write something down, you're much more likely to accomplish it. Right. So I've gotten in the habit of trying to write things down every day. Right, right. So uh, I'll ask a couple of questions here and we'll yeah. wrap. Uh, thinking about uh, children, mm -hmm. right? They, I guess they'll emulate you and they see you taking the time to think and introspective and probably asking, maybe even out loud of your wife, and they'll probably emulate that. They probably won't know what they're emulating till later, but they may. Yeah. But in terms of student athletes, right, mm -hmm. if that culture is something that is in the department and on campus, ha have you seen student athletes adapt that, to take a mirror to themselves and ask who they are, who do I want to be kind of thing? Yeah, again, the, maybe the naive piece of me would think like, yeah, they get it. And, it, <laughs> and if they asked, you know, what's the culture of the core of the culture of the Villanova Athletic Department, they would tell you it's built around four Fs, yeah. family, faith, friendship, and fun. Um, but I, I don't know. You, you know, yeah, I think you you, you'd, have to, you'd have to really connect with them. I know I keep coming back to it every chance I get right. to meet, meet with, a, with a, uh, a student athlete, especially around this time of year. Um, when the pressure of whatever's next, especially for our senior class, is right upon you, I really, really strongly encourage them to do the lonely work right. and really zero in and get to that, you know, point where they're connected to what they're passionate about. Um, I can see it. I can see the pressure on their faces. I can see it, you know, in terms of um, 
meeting expectations or what they think their expectations need to be about their career, whether it's making money or, or making a big name on Wall Street. Um, and I don't, I don't know them well enough to know that that's what they're passionate about, but right. I promise you this, not a lot of them have taken the quiet time to really exactly. zero in to find out what I'm passionate about because it's such a unique point in your life, as, as we both know. Mm -hmm. They can do anything they want to do. Why waste time doing something you're not passionate about, right? right? Exactly. So zero into that. And that, that's the message that I keep coming back to. And, and with that, I give them my own story. Mm -hmm. You know, it took me till I was 35, four kids and, you know, five different jobs across the country to realize I wanted to be an athletic director. I knew it meant what I wanted to be as a dad, a husband. Um, but you don't have to wait that long. Right. You know? It's and uh, so that, that's the message right. I try and send to them. Well, I asked this last question here for you. And you touched on it a little bit right at the beginning. But you're four years in. Mm. And... What do you ask yourself now in terms of an athletic director? What do you ask yourself in terms of um, the self-evaluation, which you mentioned, but then also forward thinking, right? What kind of athletic director do I want to be? I don't know. It's probably too early to think about legacy, but I mean, yeah. you know, thinking, <laughs> thinking years ahead kind of thing. So. Yeah. Um, I, I go back to that word authentic. Like yeah. I, I want to be authentic to who I am. I've, I've had great mentors and mm -hmm. leaders in my life. and and. Jay Wright's a perfect right. example of me getting to connect with a Hall of Fame caliber coach that mm -hmm. has taught me so much, just, just about the culture of Villanova, but also about how to run a program and leadership philosophy. Um, I always want to grow, right, and learn things from great leaders, but it has to fit into who I am. Right, you know, right. you know, I, I'm not going to be Jay Wright in a lot of different <laughs> ways, but there are messages that I can take and, and themes and lessons learned that I can build into my, my own philosophy. So... Um, four years in, I, I try to do that not only with Jay, but, but from other people that I emulate and, and admire. Like, we can never think we have all the answers, right. and uh, we can always grow, and we can always learn and adapt. And I, th I think one of the things that's clear, it's, you know, funny, four years now, like, the novelty of me being the AD at Villanova is kind of worn off. You know, <laughs> everybody, you know, that's been there, you know, four years, student athletes are the most important thing that we do. Right. I, I was their AD their freshman year, and now their senior year, so... <laughs> It wasn't like, you know, the honeymoon period's over, I guess is my, my point. Yeah. Um, and, you know, not that we ever want to reinvent ourselves, but you, you have to stay uh, cognizant of what surrounds us. With the, that's why this, this conference is so good, the different types of kids we're going we're gonna to start bringing to our campus. Yeah. Um, you know, that, those are always going to pose challenges and force us to reevaluate the way we have to connect with them. Mm -hmm. So that, that's an ongoing process that I really enjoy, um, that we really enjoy. Right. Because, you know, again, I don't, I don't pretend to have all the answers. I go back to that collaborative nature of, of my leadership team. I, I want us all to be thinking that way. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm really fortunate to have a great team around me that, that uh, has been absolutely supportive every step of the way. Yeah, right, and you'll, you'll, keep, you'll keep working at a high yeah. level, I'm sure you will, especially yeah. with that self-evaluation piece. Well, yeah. this has been a great conversation, Mark. I As really always, appreciate man. you joining us. Always good to see you, brother. Director. Thanks, Ty. Yes, sir. That was Mark Jackson. Mark is the director of athletics at Villanova University. And of course, this is Ty Brown with Athletic Director U. And keep in mind, the role of a leader is to create and maintain an environment that people want to be a part of. And as always, be better tomorrow than you are today.